welcome to JST. Today we are going to uh, see about one of the very important variables that uh, used to determine hydrological processes in landscape ecology, which is topographic wetness index. This topographic wetness index is used to define the effect of topography based on the saturated excess runoff mechanism, which characterizes the spatial distribution of surface saturation and surface runoff that were very important parameter for erosion analysis, especially for uh, gully erosion that is overlooked by Rosiel Morieling, which is uh, which estimates only shift and real erosion. Therefore, we can uh, estimate and we can calculate this topographic weightness index using Arkema Park JS. So there are certain uh, steps in, uh, to be followed in order to calculate. Uh, before uh, we are going to see on steps, let us uh, see the required data, the DM uh, and your study area shape file. Then we can apply this all other parameters, field DM, flow direction, flow accumulation, calculate slope index, calculate radiance of slope, calculate tons of slope, calculate flow accumulation scale. Then, uh, by using uh, this formula, finally we can estimate the topographic wetness index and we can have some saying about on erosion or indi indication or implication. So, topographic wetness index equals to the line of flow accumulation scales over tan slope. So, this is ArcMap 10.8. So, let us add all the required data. So, the required data is DM and uh, Shop file of a study area. Uh, for my case, let me add this uh, DM watershed. Okay, so let me add so the boundaries of the watershed. Watershed boundary. Yes, let me make to this hello. So this is the required data. So let me go to again to uh, uh, this uh, ARC toolbox. Double click on ARC toolbox and uh, spatial analyze tools will Go to spatial analysis tools and expand spatial analysis tools, then go to hydrology because we are going to quantify uh, topography wetness index, which is one part of the hydrological processes and quantifications. So, fill them, double click on fill. Then, put raster must be the DM watershed. So, the output raster, let me uh, make to this fill. The output raster means the place or the distribution folder where you can save your output result, but I, I want to accept the default folder and click OK. Fill is already present, so let me change the file to this one. Yeah, OK. Fill DM is already computed, so now let us go to fill flow direction. The flow the input raster must be the fill DM. The output raster means the output raster means the place where you want to save your output to result, but let me accept the default for uh, the default uh, destination folder and click OK. Okay, flow direction is one side successfully computed. Now let us go to flow accumulation, double click on flow accumulation. The input raster must be the flow direction raster, click on flow direction raster. The output accumulation raster means the place where you want to save your output result. As I did in the previous steps, I will accept the, the default folder, then click OK. So flow accumulation is once again successfully computed. So now let us uh, continue to our next stop, calculate slope in degrees. So just uh, minimize this hydrology and go to surface, then double click on slope. The input raster must be the DM of water sheet or the original DM. The output raster must be uh, means the place where you want to save your output result. The output measurement is let us activate the degrees and hit OK. OK, great. Once again, slope, slope is successfully computed. So let us back to let us go back to our Formula and uh, we have reached in uh, step five. So calculate uh, uh, radiance of slope. So slope in degree. In order to calculate radiance of slope, go to math algebra. Then raster calculator. Uh, slope in degree times slope in degree times this constant number. This constant number. Let me copy this constant number. Let me paste here. Then close bracket divided by divided by uh, cell size of a DM 
in our case, the cell size of a dream, let us uh, see the cell size, Pro go to properties in order to know the cell size or the resolution of your raster, then go to source, so 20 by 20, so divided by 20, so click OK. Great. So uh, slope radians has uh, slope radian has been successfully generated. So the next step is equal uh, is calculating tan slope. So condition of radian slope greater than zero. Just go to raster calculator. Uh, then uh, the, you can find this con to the conditional uh, function Co condition. Condition uh, radian slope. Click on uh, radian slope greater than greater than zero, comma. Tan. You can find the tan the tan is the trigonometric function. Tan radian slope zero point zero zero one. Okay. Then the output raster means the, your result that has been saved into your folder. So I will, as I did in the previous steps, I will accept the, the default destination folder, then hit OK. OK. Successfully computed. So the tan slope is, so tan slope is successfully computed. This is tan slope. And this is a radian slope. This is a radian, a radian slope. So the, the, this the final step is a flow accumulation scale. So this flow accumulation plus one times cell size. Then once again go to raster calculator. Uh, open bracket. Flow accumulation plus one close bracket times cell size means the resolution of your uh, DM data so tuny in our case it is tuny the output raster means the place where you want to save out the output result as I did in the previous steps I will accept the default destination folder then hit ok this processing let's wait Accumulation is killed. Accumulation. Accumulation is killed. Accumulation is killed. So we have already uh, pre processed all the required data. The final step here is that topography witness index is equal to line of flow accumulation scale uh, divided by tan slope. So let us go to again to RAS, the calculator raster. Lan of you can find uh, lan in the uh, in the maths function. Lan of accumulation scale divided by tan slope. This is topographic weight in the So this is the final. The final uh, output raster must be the topographic weight in the index. Then hit OK. Topographic weightness index is processing. Let us wait the results. Great. The final you have produced the topographic weightness index, which is very uh, applicable for soil erosion, especially for estimating erosion that is overlooked by. Uh, uh, Rosier modeling, which accounts only sheet and really erosion, so we have already successfully computed this topographic witness index. So let us make some amendments on symbology. For example, let us change to this one. Yes, this is topographic witness index in order to 
make the map fully understand developed by uh, end users go to uh, view and you can uh, click on layout view or press the button and click on view tab okay so we after pressing a lot so we have already completed this topography greatness index and you can uh, you can export this map as in various formats so you can export this let us make some amendments for this map this okay 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 we have already inserted all marginal information about this map you can uh, put here the legend so this is topographic index calculated easily in ArcMap ArcGIS then you can go to file export map export map this is topographic witness index then save click save drawing topographic witness index processing excellent so let us see our uh, result by going to the topography witness index yes. excellent good map has been produced topographic uh, witness index yes uh, uh, the blue value is the highest topographic index uh, which is responsible for surface detachment in the runoff that should intervene soil and water management practices to the concerned bodies and the local governments as well in order to protect the uh, soil erosion or in order to minimize the soil uh, erosion so we have uh, then as uh, topographic witness index uh, this is what we have today but if you are new to this YouTube channel, you can comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.